So what I want to do now is I want to spend a, a couple of minutes just having a look at some of these bonus uh, presets as well. Now this add split tone is going to be really nice for uh, our black and white footage here. So I'm just going to apply that over the top. I can apply it to, a, to an adjustment layer. Uh, in fact, let's apply it to an adjustment layer over the top of everything so we don't get confused. So what the split tone is going to do, it's really only for black and white footage here. What the split tone is going to do is just um, give, give you a bit of a, yeah, just a, a split tone effect where you've got a, a, one sort of uh, wash, one sort of gradient going in over the, uh, the highlights and another one going on in the shadows. And so if we just change our master hue here, we can really just be changing what, uh, let's actually get this over here so we can see this a little bit easier. So there's our original black and white there. And we have the split tone here. We see we've got a bit more uh, uh, yellows going on in the, in the shadows and blues going on in the highlights. So of course we bring that over there. We've now got uh, sort of uh, magentas and purples going on. It's just, it's an interesting little effect. It's another, another little effect you can use. And of course, hit T, bring up opacity, just pull that effect down again. So we don't want it always to be at 100%. That's a little bit too extreme. We just mix it back in with the original layer. Um, so that's, that's the, uh, the split tone there. Let's turn off all of these other, other ones here. And in fact, let's just delete. All right, fine, no, I can keep these layers. We'll show you how, how they look. Add another adjustment layer here. In fact, let's name this adjustment layer uh, Enhanced Skyline. And these are just sort of utility presets that I use quite a bit. Uh, enhancing the skyline here, just basically put on a, a nice little gradient over the top. Um, and of course, we can fine tune the gradients with our um, master control level here to be whatever we whatever we need it to be. And we can also come up to the sky color up here uh, and just change where where our gradient starts and ends so nice simple uh, very effective uh, use that use that quite a bit uh, lens misting uh, lens misting is uh, again just another little cheat uh, this will just add a bit of yeah well misting to the to the highlights and to the uh and to the shadows here so we've got the shadow mist let's turn that off for a second and have a look at our highlight misting we'll turn on highlight misting there you can see it just gives us a bit of a glow there and we can change the the glow radius uh sorry the glow threshold to where it where it actually is going to glow and the glow radius to, to how much it's glowing so we've got that for the shadow mist as well um, so that's just a, a quick look at the, the lens misting. Um, sharpening, sharpening the layers. This is, uh, let's have a look at this on another, another bit of footage. Let's actually come to our uh, footage here. Let's come to our composition here. Okay, sometimes if your um, uh, video is a little bit unsharp, you might want to add a bit of sharpening. Now you can just use the regular run sharp mask, but that, um, that gives sort of sub optimum um, results in in my opinion so what I've got here is I've developed a little technique to uh, to do some nice sharpening that's only going to sharpen the edges rather than sharpening everything which will sharp you know if we sharpen everything it will sharpen the noise up and and uh, all of the other things in the picture we might not want so for the for the sharpening for the uh, for the film wash sharpening we're just going to duplicate our original layer a couple of times of course we can do this on a on a composition as well uh, so we, we could just duplicate the entire composition twice um, using uh, Control or Apple D and apply my film wash sharpening layer 2 to layer 2 and sharpening layer 3 to the, to the top layer. Let's have a look what that does. So sharpening layer 3, what this does, it then just finds the edges, finds the outlines. Uh, and we really want to just be working with the, the final contrast here to to really make sure that we've got all of the edges in as possible, but as little of the noise in uh, as possible as well. So in this case, we don't want to bring the, the white in too much here. We might want to adjust the gamma in here a little bit. So I'll adjust the gamma there, actually bring the, the white in, just so we've got the nice little outlines going on there. There we go, very nice. And so now once we've got the outlines here, 
we're just going to use this uh, this layer here as a track mat. So we're just going to come to our modes and track mats here and go track mat, luma mat here. That will automatically hide our top layer and bring in our, our uh, second layer here, which is going to be the sharpness. So if I bring the amount up quite a lot, just so you can really see the difference, let's, uh, let's bring this to 100%. And so you can see without the sharpness, we've got this and with the sharpness on, just have a look at the, the edges around the hair. That's just popping those, popping those edges out a little bit more. Uh, if we look at the uh, sort of cut out duck here as well. You can really see we've added a lot of sharpness and it's just, that's just a regular unsharp mask, but using the other technique uh, here, it's just sharpening the edges rather than sharpening up all the noise, uh, which we really don't want it to do. Um, so cool, that's, that's just a little bonus you've got in there. Um, I thought you might like it. I, I find it useful. Um, so once again, thank you very much for purchasing uh, Film Wash Color Effects. I hope you have a great deal of fun with it. I've had a great deal of fun using it uh, myself and developing it. So all the best and see you on the other side.